All right. So I'm a little frustrated this morning and I'm going to let this out and release this because I, because I just need to release it and move on with my day. Sorry, I moved that right in front of you. Just move on with my day and not let this affect me, but like it's really affecting me this morning. And that is that I'm fat. Okay, it's so good. I'm fat. I'm fat and I feel like just freaking giving up because I have been doing cardio like literally every day. This already expired. Of course it did. We have one vegan creamer and it's already expired. I'm like, I just have to have this. Like, I'm, I'm really trying to, like, make this vegan choice, this vegan lifestyle. And it's actually, like, so difficult. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. Let's see what we have. I swear, I've gotten... How is that vegan? How is that still in there? <sighs> that non-dairy. Okay. Is this vegan? Is this still good? This is still good. How did that one expire? Okay, we're using this. So, look at that. How am I supposed to die when there's like a chocolate cake in the fridge at all times? I opened up this fridge and it's freaking chocolate cake. All right. I, I hope this is, this is vegan. I think it is. Okay. I literally had that silk in there for so long because I've been wanting to do the vegan thing for so long, but. Today is the day that I do it. I just do it because, like, honestly, like, I feel like I haven't even been eating that bad. Like, I had that week of, like, fast food. Oh, my God, I can't even this. Of, like, fast food, um, like, a binge, and I felt horrible, and I was like, okay, no more fast food, but I guess I should have got ice in this. Oh, well. I'm just so tired of being fat, okay? Like, I know this goes against my mantras and affirmations and law of attractions, but like I am fat. I tell myself every day I'm skinny and you know what? I wake up and I'm still fat. I'm still over 200 pounds. I don't understand. Pumpkin spice just tastes different after Halloween. I don't know. I know we're still like in like Thanksgiving season, but I seriously work out so much, like three hours a day. I've tried intermittent fasting. I try count, like I literally count calories. I literally count calories and they literally do. Aside from that one week fast food binge, I literally do under 2000 calories and I burn minimum, minimum 2000 calories. And I'm usually under by like, I'm usually like 1600 calories of, of intake. And I know minimum I burn at 2000 calories like probably more because they say naturally if your body does absolutely nothing, you're just like a lazy fat piece of, you know, like you burn, you burn 1500 calories, just literally existing, just literally sitting. You burn that much like throughout the day. I go three hours a day and yes, I know those calorie things aren't accurate, but it's usually over a thousand calories that I burn, which also increases my metabolism. So let's just say I didn't even burn a thousand on the actual elliptical. I'm pretty sure I burned that throughout the day because my, my metabolism is just going. So that's an extra thousand on top of the fit of top of the 1500. Therefore I burn, I burn 2,500 calories a day. And again, maybe more because I do lift weights. I do all that stuff like that. And I just, you know what? I did start lifting weights maybe. <sighs> I'm not going to cry about it. I just am like, if this vegan thing doesn't work out for me, like I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I'm going back to the fast food life. I'm going back to the pasta life. I haven't had carbs or pasta in like, I'm sorry, pasta, I've had carbs. I've had pasta and cheese in literally like two weeks. I didn't have cheese on some nachos. So like pasta and Parmesan cheese is what I'm thinking. Like pasta, butter noodles, cheese. Like the worst thing you can possibly have. I haven't had that in so long. I had, yeah, I had big ziti like a, like a week, ago, like oh, 10 days ago. And on top of that, you wanna see what's sitting next to me? Witch hazel wipes. You know why? Because I think I have a freaking hemorrhoid coming in. Right before my wedding, really? How am I supposed to just starfish it out on my wedding night? You know what I mean? Okay.
I feel so frustrated. What is even behind me? I wore pads and shirt. <laughs> Moses is like, is this a character from Twilight? Robert Pattinson! I just feel like I'm a little bit out of standstill. Like, and you know what? Sometimes I do read comments and the comments I read is like, oh, there goes the wedding diet. There goes this, still fat. Her fake, her fake weight loss journey. It's like I showed, I've showed on the scale 20 pounds. And yes, I fluctuated from 20, now to 30, back up 25 pounds. And guess what? If I go on the scale right now, I don't even want to go. Let's go. Let's go on the freaking scale. Why not? Why a freaking not? I'm going to probably cry. I'm going to probably cry. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's like. Okay. I'm just not. Okay. This is probably literally the worst idea I've ever had, but let's just see. Seventeen, closer to two eighteen. Are you seeing that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That means <sighs> it's fine. Like at least I'm not two twenty, right? At least I'm not two twenty, right? <sighs> that means oh my god! Like look now, I the only thing I can be is like my same grace. I have been lifting weights, so <sighs> oh my god, no. I was literally, oh my God. I was literally 204, like, like literally two weeks ago. I'm so. No, 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 no. How, how, how did I gain 13 freaking pounds? I don't understand this. Like, I truly don't. I cut out crumble cookies. Wow. It's that week of fast food. Like, I literally binged so much because not only did I eat that fast food, I was, like, eating after it, too. Oh, my God. <sighs> what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay. <sighs> How many calories are any of this stuff I'm drinking? I probably shouldn't even be drinking this. Like... 10 calories okay okay well mm. damn it i'm so mad at myself i'm so mad at myself that means i'm really only down i start at 234 224 10 pounds 14 months get to do 20 so i'm only like wait what 14 months get to do 20 so I'm like 17 i'm 17 pounds down I had that one week of spiraling. I'm like, damn, like, damn. My weight fluctuates so freaking much. Like, it's, like, that's a lot. Like, I didn't even realize. Wow. That week of binging. I was doing so good, too. Okay. I'm not going to cry. We're going to just keep it moving as we always do. <laughs> I'm shook. Oh my God, I'm shook. Okay. We're going to keep it moving. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm a... Uh, on this vegan journey now, yeah, um, like I'm gonna try and not eat these all the yummy vegan food that sounds yummy, like vegan nachos, vegan wings. Like I want to try them, but like if you guys have any, if you guys have any vegan suggestions, let me know. Like something I can cook at home that's like healthy. I don't know. Like it's not even about the wedding. It's like literally just about me feeling good. And I just don't. And I had a little breakdown yesterday because I just 
I don't feel good. But then I'm just like, you know what? I'm just fat. People know me as fat. This is my brand. That's who I am. So then I'm like, why even bother? I, I just go have that chocolate cake in the fridge. That's how I think. That's my belly. I'm sorry, guys. I just feel very defeated and sad. And like, I didn't weigh myself on purpose after the binge week. But damn. Okay, well, thanks for listening to me rant. Any of my other fatties out there are just like, I'm fat. I used to be fat and happy, and now I'm just like, fat, period, happy. But not fat and happy. Not happy because I'm fat, not happy, you know? I used to be okay with my weight. I'm like not okay with my weight anymore. Between the freaking breast implant illness thing, possibly, and like skin and just not feeling good. Just not, I'm so tired of just not feeling good. And I just really need to make dietary changes today. I thought it was enough to just do my three hours on the freaking elliptical. And I, it's just not enough. So I don't know if you're, if you're out there and you're, 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 you're I'm fat and grateful. Like I'm grateful for where I am now. Cause I know this is like my journey. And I feel like this is like the start of my journey. So I'm very grateful where I'm at right now. I'm grateful that I, gained it back to really kick myself in gear and like do what's better by my body which is like not putting dairy and like you know I'm grateful so I'm thankful and I'm happy and I'm sad but I'm not happy because I'm fat I think I'm blocking myself from total happiness because I'm fat but it's fine sorry Sorry. Thank you for listening. I'm going to start this journey for real. I'm going vegan. Just for my own. You know? 